Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started provisioning resources on AWS with Terraform. All right, Terraform is a really cool uh, tool that you can use to provision resources on uh, not just AWS, but any cloud provider. It's made by a company called HashiCorp. And so you can go to terraform.io to learn more about the tool itself and basically what terraform does is it writes plans and creates infrastructure as a code now what else on aws creates infrastructure as a code cloud formation right and um, i have a video series on cloud formation here on youtube if you want to check that out before you check terraform you're welcome to otherwise you can uh, get started with Terraform really quickly in a very short time so we can do that as well so first of all let me take you to my github page for this video I've created a step-by-step -step guide for this video where you can follow um, all the links all the code and all the steps with pictures and I'm gonna be linking this on the description of the video I'm gonna click on the download button here now once you go to the download page, you can select from whatever operating system you're operating from. So you could be on Mac OS, you choose this. If you're on Linux, you know, choose one of these. And if you're on Windows, select one of these. Now, since I already have Terraform installed on my local computer, you know, I want to do this on an EC2 instance so that I will start fresh. I'll be on the same page as you guys. So I'm quickly going to log into my EC2 instance. So once I'm inside my EC2 instance, the first thing that I need to do is to download the file just as you guys did, right? So I'm gonna copy this link and download and list the files I get this zip file so you should have a zip file on your downloads folder as well so you can just right click and extract that zip file for me I'm gonna do unzip terraform if I list the contents after I unzip the zip file I'll get this terraform binary file now you should have the same thing, right? You should have a Terraform binary file on your computer. Once you extract that binary file, you can just type Terraform. And I get a command not found error. And this is because um, since this, since Terraform is an executable file, I can either do this, you know, right? or I have to include the current directory, which is the home directory on the path, right? So to set the path, what you can do is on the guide, um, I've provided you a command to set the path. Now this works for Mac and Linux users. If you're on Windows, I also have something for you. There's a link that you can click and follow to add Terraform to path. Now for me, I'm gonna copy this line. Go here and paste. And what this does is it will add my current directory to the path. And after I add this, I have to source bash underscore profile to get this working right now once I do this and set the path I can just type in terraform and there we go right I can start using terraform just by typing terraform which means I'm ready to move on so if you have any problems try to look at this guide and see if you missed any steps right um, or had any typo now I'm gonna clear the screen and the 
first thing that I'll do is I will make a new directory call it terraform uh, lab I will change uh, my directory and go inside the terraform lab directory currently the directory is empty now I will create a file and you can do this with your text editor like you know Atom or Sublime Text or Notepad I don't have a graphical user interface so I'm going to use Vim so I'm going to use Vim and call it EC2-TF or EC2.TF right TF is the extension for Terraform so enter and inside of here I've provided you um, a minimal viable configuration to get an EC2 instance provisioned with Terraform on AWS so you just want to copy this block of code bring it over here and I'll let's discuss what's happening in the code here so the first line provider AWS tells Terraform that I'm working with AWS and since I will be provisioning resources on AWS I have to provide my credentials and these two lines provide the credentials right now how do you find your access key and secret access key if you go to the identity and access management on your AWS console and you should get to the IAM management console inside here you click on users and you click one of the users after you go inside the users you go to the security credentials tab by clicking here and then you create access key you have to do this if you don't have those credentials with you if you already have a set of credentials you don't have to do this step but if you don't have it you just click on create access key and it will give you uh, access key ID and secret access key now you can click on show and you can copy the access key ID first so copy and in the place of access key I'm gonna paste the access key on the second line go back copy the secret access key and paste that here right so the region can be US East one that's fine and uh, everything else can stay the same right this AMI will work on US East one now if you uh, put US East two or any other regions then this will not work and you have to find the correct AMI for that region so the second part right the second part is saying that I want to provision an EC2 instance with the name of example you can have anything in here and you provide the AMI and the instance type and once you do this you just save this file now I wanna open this file one more time if you've set up the AWS command line interface then you don't need to include this part now having this part does not hurt you right so you can have this part to make sure it will work but if you have your AWS command line interface set up then you don't need this part and if you have the AWS command line interface installed you can provision things from your command prompt or your terminal right um, so if you wanna learn how to do that I have a video on how to set up the command line interface as well I'm going to be linking that video on the description below. But once again, just to make sure things will work, if you include both of these, it's good. So I'm going to save this file and list the contents of the Terraform Lab folder. Right now, I only have ec2.tf. Now, to get started with Terraform, I have to initialize this folder and I do that by typing terraform in it it will tell me terraform has been successfully initialized once the terraform is initialized I can say 
terraform apply, right? Enter. And it tells me Terraform will perform the following actions, right? So it will give me a bunch of info on what's going to happen. Plan is to add one to change zero and to destroy zero. Do you want to perform these actions? Uh, you have to type yes to move ahead or no to stop. I'm going to type in yes and say enter. And I get this error. Now, this is important. I'm happy that I got this error because some of you guys might also get this error. And this error is because I am not authorized to perform this operation. Why? Because the credentials that I pasted in here was for the user called Anish, right? And this user has only got permissions for Amazon S3 full access. I can only do things within uh, Amazon S3. I can make buckets, you know, download buckets, delete buckets, but I cannot do anything with EC2 instances. I cannot create, delete, start, stop my EC2 instances with these set of credentials. And uh, to add the required permissions, once again, you go to the username, you click on add permissions, and I'm going to give him EC2 access, right? Or you can make him an admin, which is not recommended. Um, I'm going to add EC2 full access permission to this user. Review, add permissions, right? So now I have EC2 full access attached to this user. So those keys, with those keys, I can provision EC2 instances. So this is a very important step. Now back to my terminal. If I clear the screen and say Terraform apply one more time, I have to say yes again. And this time something is happening. It tells me uh, AWS instance dot example still creating and I want to go back to my EC2 dashboard and I can see that I have three instances running and this one is initializing right this one is initializing and I'm just gonna look at this one so if I look at the instance ID it's i04e9 and go back to the terminal it tells me creation complete i04 e9 instance ID of this right so this instance was created by Terraform so congratulations you just launched an EC2 instance with Terraform now one really cool thing about Terraform is that all you have to do to destroy the resources you create is say Terraform destroy and it will give me a warning saying Terraform will perform the following actions uh, one to destroy do you really want to destroy and yes I really want to destroy so click yeah so type yes and enter and it will start destroying the EC2 instance or any resources you provision with Terraform okay it's working if I go back to my EC2 dashboard it's shutting down 40 seconds so far and it's still doing the destroying now I can see that my instance is terminated if I go back to the terminal destroy complete resources one destroy so um, we first of all downloaded the Terraform binary file. It was a zip file, so we extracted that and we added Terraform to the path. Then we created a new directory and we went inside that directory and we created a file with this code 
we pasted our access key and secret access key here. Um, and what we did was initialize Terraform inside that directory. And we typed Terraform apply, said yes to confirm, and we had our EC2 instance running. Once we confirmed the EC2 instance was running, we said Terraform destroy, which destroys the resources created with Terraform. Uh, hopefully you did the lab or you're planning to do the, the lab step by step uh, and provision resources with Terraform. Terraform is really cool and I'm uh, planning to do some more videos. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking the like button. If you have any problems doing this lab, also let me know in the comment section below. If you have any recommendations or any requests for videos, let me know as well. I'm happy to look into um, the request and I'll try to make that video, put it on my channel. But that's it for this lab. Thank you for watching. I have other videos on YouTube as well related to AWS. Please check them out. If you like my documentation, uh, if you click the star button, you know, I would really appreciate that. Um, it will let other people know that this is a good documentation. Um, if not, you know, give me some feedbacks, right? Maybe I can improve some things. I also have some Udemy courses. Uh, you, you're free to check them out. I'm going to link those courses in the description. If you browse through my channels, you will see some free uh, Udemy course coupons floating around. So you're, you're welcome to do that as well if you want. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.